So let's work with the roof plan. In the roof plan there are a few layers that we will have to make starting with the layer 1, call it as a gutter. The layer 2 would be the roof lines because that's what the roof we are going to make in the roof plan. Layer 3 would be the wall lines below which is going to be a dash line because it's hidden. Layer 4 we'll make a layer call it a chimney. So 1 and 2. Layer 5 we will be making uh, we will call it a uh, layer for the slope where we show where we show the slope of the roof as you can see right here uh, and another layer call it as a gutter which is the gutter which is attached to the roof from where the water is going to go down so these are all that we need uh, all the layers that we need to make our roof plan now how we make the layers we just go over here there is a create new layer I can click on there and I could just type the name of the layer to whatever name that we need give it a color give it a line type I could give it a hidden continuous or I could load in here and select whatever line type that I need but now I have already done all my layering you see the gutters you see the roof slope there's wall lines below uh, the chimney layer so all these layers I've already made so I'm not going to go ahead and make it again if you want to understand how to make new layers you have to go uh, to my tutorial before where I have explained this whole layer panel so what I will do right now is uh, attach the second floor and do this roof plan use the second floor as a reference overlay to complete my roof plan so let's go ahead and do that XR for XREF attach the drawing I'll go select the second floor XREF hit open and the location I am going to give it as 0 comma 0 comma 0 okay so now if you look this is my second floor part of my roof is already done all I have to do is finish up this roof okay so first thing I will do is go to my wall lines below layer and I will go ahead and trace my wall lines with just using the basic line tool I'll just trace all the walls from the outside for my second floor. So that's done with. When this is done, I will offset this to the wall line thickness two, three. okay so my outside walls are already done next thing I will have to do is just do my roof overhang the one like you see over here going to uh, offset that at this distance which I think is some two feet uh, two feet six inches I offset this and I offset this make sure I convert these to my roof lines which is right here okay I can I even have to offset offset another roof I'll match attributes that or I could change the layer whichever way that I want I will fillet where I join these roofs fillet fillet and fillet okay so now my roof shape is already done only thing I need to do is go to the roof 
roof line select that layer and make my ridge this is my roof ridge line that shows that the roof is going to slope in this direction as well as in this direction from here so I have another roof which is the garage I will trace that one as well because I really don't want to keep my second floor into my drawing I will unload my second floor once that's done so I'll draw and trace my roof from my second floor xref that's the chimney actually that should go on the chimney layer so I will select those and put it onto the chimney layer there okay so I think at least I'm done putting in my roof do I need the second floor anymore I don't so I can click on it right click and I will unload so this is how my roof looks like I will put a couple more lines in there for my chimney Again, I select it and put it onto the chimney layer there now the next thing I need to do is put in the gutters now the gutters are four inches so I'm going to offset my roof in that direction four inches offset enter four enter and I just offset the outsides this is where my gutter is going to go now I have to select this and put it on to which layer I'll have to put it on to my gutter layer go to the gutter click the gutter layer now what else is missing I can put in uh, my arrows showing the slope of the roof by using the leader command which is right here so I'm going to type LE enter click click enter 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 I can hit escape because I don't want to type any text okay now the roof arrow is really tiny I'm going to make the size go up bigger so I click on it get this is one eighth inch I'm gonna give it as maybe 15 inches okay so this thing got messed up so I'm going to do that again LE click click enter enter escape now I'll click on that change it to 15 all right so now I have to make sure I put it onto the right layer which is my slope lines roof slope okay I can copy this one two three and I can mirror all of these together on the other side so I select it and my mirror line is one and two do I have to erase the source object no so I type N enter okay I can move this one going up a little so that's my roof plan let's see if I'm missing anything else I'm pretty much done there is a chimney right here which I forgot so I am going to just draw the chimney approximately but you'll be doing it um, in the right location to select it put it onto the chimney layer there okay so that's my roof plan there is a lot of detail more detail that goes into it but this is a basic basic roof plan that you would be using another thing that I forgot putting in is these wall lines from the first floor but you could do that 
uh, I have the first floor plan right here right click and I could attach it because I cannot find it over there hit OK and I do 0 comma 0 comma 0 so it goes in the right location I'll go on to my wall lines and I will put the walls that are underneath onto the first floor okay I would just trace that one by one just the outside lines that's all I need okay now this is done what do I do go back to the first floor right click unload okay so there goes my roof plan then I can always go ahead and set it up onto my drawing sheet that's what we just drew and I could give it the name I could put in the dimensions and stuff like that more and more detail I could add the detail for what the chimney is what the chimney is what the size of the chimney is and stuff like that so if you have any questions how to work with the roof plan you can always ask me uh, I hope you're understanding these tutorials uh, these are basic AutoCAD uh, architecture drawing tutorials thank you